Hey guys, welcome to another episode of El Jardín Perdido. Last episode, I did a graft on my plum tree here. This is what's left of what I took off one of the branches. I did say I would do a follow-up video. Um, well, it's the same day, but what I'm gonna do here is real quick show you guys how to clone this into multiple plum trees. Okay, so I told myself I'm gonna make like four of these. For demonstration, I may only do one, but we'll see how it goes. So I'll start with this fatter one here. And similar principle to when I'm doing graphs, I'm going to work with just a few buds. So I'm gonna cut just above the first one. Here. And you'll see we have one here, one here. You really just wanna work with like two to three buds. This method's gonna be a little different than uh, other things you've seen on YouTube. I've kind of made my own method here based on what I've seen. Most people do kind of a greenhouse scenario where they'll put all the cuttings in the ground and either put something over them or a similar fashion. I'm going to wrap my greenhouse directly around with this self-adhering uh, grafting tape and I'm going to give this one three buds. I'm going to start from the bottom bud. And wrap my way up nice and tight. Down. Keep a little snap there. Excuse the wind if the audio is being interfered with. Okay. So there we have that. This is what I'll be potting in. I just took some plastic cups, put some holes in the bottom there for drainage. And uh, if this much is going to be out of the ground, we want about this much into the ground which gives us about a third, and two thirds will be under the ground. So we're gonna give that a snip at as close to a 45 as we can, which ensures a little more surface area for rooting. Not everyone does this, but I also, first of all, take off any buds down below, any big ones but uh, I'll give it a scrape with my knife here. Not going crazy, but just exposing lots of the cambium layer for some surface area, both for the rooting hormone to adhere to, but also because this is where the roots will propagate from. That's looking pretty good to me. So before we go there, I'll get some potting soil here. about all the way to the top. There we have it. I proceed to water this in before I even put our potential clone in there. Our cutting. <clears throat> this is my rooting hormone. By Safeguarden. It's called Take Root. There's a lot of different rooting hormones. This one hasn't failed me. It's one of the first ones I've tried and it works well. This is in a powder form, as you can see. There are different ones that are in liquid forms, etc. This works well for me. I'm literally just dipping it in there. 
Got it nice and kicked on. With this pre-moistened, literally just gonna stick it straight in, pack the soil around it. You'll see I have a little bit of that area exposed. I'm going to grab a little more soil here and ensure that is all covered. An important factor in all this is moisture retention. That's why people uh, put them in greenhouses, etc., because you really want to trap all of the moisture this has. And you also want to keep pathogens and things away from these cuts. I have a greenhouse right here. That's where I'll be keeping this. It's very moist in there, high humidity, so it won't dry out. And uh, it'll be kept nice and warm and have a nice boost. I will keep you guys updated on this. Uh, should take about a few weeks to see some buds start pushing out. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial on how to propagate clones from Simply Cuttings. If you found this helpful, uh, like, comment, subscribe if you'd like to see more like this. I will be doing videos in the future. Um, comments, you know, if you guys had any questions or, you know, if you want to add your two cents on what I was doing or maybe you have a different method. I appreciate you guys watching. Until next time.